Welcome to 49th weekly math challenge. We are so close to 50. And of course, before I show you the question, as always, I want to mention a few points. There is going to be one question posted every Wednesday, US time. I want you to comment your answer along with an explanation below. And only unedited non-reply comments will be accepted. And the first 10 people to correctly answer the question will be recognized like this. Congratulations, Aryan Soman, for being the very first person to correctly answer last week's challenge. Let's recognize nine more people. Congratulations, Lama Mall, Shiloh Anderson, Benjamin Wang. Congratulations, Ellen Lago, Jordan Sprague, Ismail Nur Meg Ribby. Congratulations, Lucas Lorenzo, Jacob Glidewell, and Ming Kong Nguyen. And of course, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name as I most likely am. And there is one more announcement I want to make before showing you this week's challenge. Because of personal schedule conflicts, I'm not going to have any access to my desktop that contains all the programs I need to make the videos. So the solution to this week's challenge and the video containing the next challenge will be posted two weeks from now. So on July the 18th instead of July the 11th. And I apologize for the delay. So next weekly math challenge question will be posted two weeks from now, not next Wednesday. I wanted to make this clear. Anyway, now let's get to this week's challenge. And for this challenge, I'm going to accept any answer until the July the 17th as long as it's in top 10. So the question is, if the matrix below is singular, the sum of all possible values of a belonging to the closed interval from 0 to 2018 pi is b over 2 pi. Find the remainder when b is divided by 1000. And our matrix is from the top row to the bottom row. The top row is cosine squared of a, sine of a, sine squared of a. The second row is negative cosine of 2a, cosine of a minus sine of a cosine of 2a, and the final row is negative sine of 2a minus cosine of 2a, 2 cosine of a, and finally 1 plus sine of 2a plus cosine of 2a. And of course, as I stated before, there's not going to be a challenge next Wednesday.